and he smashed him down the ground. What a player. What a wonderful player. Hey guys, welcome back to Zidda Sports. First of all, thank you so much for all the support. The response for the first video has been overwhelming and we truly, truly appreciate all the support coming our way. Please do keep supporting us. It gives us a lot of confidence to make interesting content for you and we hope you enjoy all of that. Today's video is going to be about a roundup of uh, India's performance at the recently concluded Tokyo Olympics and we hope you enjoy that. Let's step into the video. Is there any better feeling in the world than to win an Olympic gold for your country? I don't think so. And to do that at 23 in an event where your country has not even been in contention for a bronze medal is tough of dreams. Neeraj Chopra has scripted history by winning a gold and javelin throw and has truly made the country proud. He has gone one step further from P.T. Usha and Milka Singh. P.T. Usha who unfortunately forgot to lunge in the dying seconds of a race, finishing on fourth. And Milka Singh who turned for a half a second and missed out on a medal. They would truly be so proud of his achievement. Milka Singh always wanted to see an Indian lift an Olympic gold in the track and field events. And you'd be so happy of what Neeraj has achieved in the heavens today. Neeraj who recorded 87.58 meters in his second attempt, only later realized his first attempt of 87.03 meters would, would have been enough for him to win a gold medal. He not only won a medal for India, he dominated the event that no athlete came even close to his first attempt. It truly, truly feels special to be an Indian after this performance. Saikom Mirabai Chan opened the tally for India by winning a silver after lifting a total of 202 kg in 49 kg weightlifting category on the very first day. She, she came in as a top favourite and delivered a silver medal for her country. She was in great form and also was in contention for a gold medal just for a while before the Chinese weightlifter surpassed her score. India's second medal came from the 2016 silver medalist PV Sindhu. The 26-year-old Shuttler defeated Chinese Hei Bang Chao in the bronze medal match and went on to become the only Indian woman to win back-to-back -back medals in Olympic history. She was in still a form throughout the tournament, defeating all her opponents in two games until she reached the semi-final. She faced Taiwan's Tai Su Ying in the semi-final and lost to her, who went on to win a silver medal. All Sindhu would want is to go one further step and win the elusive gold medal in 2024 Paris Olympics. Lovrina Borgoyen won the second bronze for India in the welterweight category of women's boxing, which itself made its debut in 2020 Tokyo Olympics. She gets to be in the list of first ever medal winners in the welterweight category. She is just the third boxer in the history of boxing to win a medal for India. She put up a great fight in the semi-final against world champion Busane Surmaneli of Turkey who went on to win the gold medal. The Assamese boxers is dissatisfied with the, with the performance despite of winning a medal. She said, I do not like the color of the medal. This statement proves us how strong and determined she is. We can definitely hope the 23-year-old Lovlina will win a lot of medals for India in the coming years. On the 5th of August, Indian men's hockey team scripted history by winning bronze medal defeating Germany 5-4 in an enthralling contest. It was India's first medal in 41 years in men's hockey. It was an emotional victory for the entire country. For a sport that India dominated between 1928 and 1980, winning 11 medals and to go medalless in the last 40 years was disappointment. This historic campaign is sure to inspire a generation of youngsters and reignite the passion for hockey in India. To realize that there are 13 Olympic debutants in the 19-member squad makes this victory even more special. P.R. Srijesh, who has been the custodian of Indian goalposts for the last decade, saved the final penalty corner in the dying minutes of the game to help India win a bronze medal.
Fifth medal for India came from the fourth seeded Ravi Kumar Dahia in the freestyle 57 kg wrestling category. He dominated the first two bouts of the tournament, winning the, by technical superiority, which is to have 10 more points than your opponent during the six minutes of the bout. The man has nerves of steel. He was down 2 9 in the semi finals against Kazakh wrestler Nurisalam Sanayev, yet went on to won, win the bout by pinning Sanayev down the final minute of the bout. He also endured a bite from the notorious Sanayev, but that didn't stop him from giving his all in the final, which he lost narrowly against Zor Ugwe 4 7. He revealed he was not happy with the medal, and there was no point winning a silver when his target was cold. The penultimate medal for India came on the same day, minutes before Neeraj Chopra won an historic goal for India in javelin throw. Bajrang Punya, India's top wrestler, pulled off an incredible performance in the bronze medal match defeating Kazakhstan Daulat Neyazbekov 8-0 in the 65kg freestyle wrestling category. He carried a knee injury into the game and it got worse. He could not play his natural game of attacking in the semi-final because of the injury. Despite his difficulty with the injury, the Haryana wrestler won, a, won his country a medal and will go down in history and will always be remembered for the resilience he showed throughout the tournament. We wouldn't be doing justice to these athletes if we miss out on them. India's golfer Aditi Ashok and Indian women's hockey team came so close to winning a medal during this Olympics. But they sure won a lot of hearts across the country. And they've inspired a lot of young girls to take up different sport and excel with their performance. And with this, we come to the end of this video. If I had missed out on anything, or if you have different views on our athletes, please do let us know in the comments. And we'll sure be replying back to all of your comments. Thank you for watching.